I'll hide the waveform by pressing tab on the keyboard to enable draw mode too. Draw modes can be changed by pressing shift plus tab to open the view options. As you can see, in draw mode 2 I have disabled draw samples. You can now get a better view of the object handles. There are five handles on an object. You need to have the object selected in order to see the object handles. The handles at the bottom left and right corners are for resizing the object. The handles in the upper half are fade in and fade out handles. If I re-enable the waveform you can see how changing the fade also scales the size of the waveform. So this gives you a visual aid as well. There is also a single handle in the centre of the object and you can use this to change the volume. I'm now going to resize the object back to its original length. Left click and drag the object handle at the bottom right hand corner. I'm going to enable auto crossfade by clicking on the auto crossfade icon. Place the play cursor at bar 5 and hit T on the keyboard. And now we have an automatic crossfade between the two objects. You can then adjust the level of individual objects and there will be a smooth crossfade between them. Double clicking on an object will open the object editor. If you're using universal mouse mode you will need to double click on the bottom half of the object. Then click on position fades and it's possible to change the desired fade. I'm deleting the right object. You'll notice that since I've deleted the second object, the first object is now longer than four bars. Let me undo the last action and I'll pull the second object down onto the track below. You can see both objects have been extended over the crossfade area. In order for two objects to have a crossfade, there needs to be enough spare audio so they can overlap. So Samplitude does this automatically, providing you have auto crossfade enabled.